Howdy partners, Vic the Slick here. We're making some sausage gravy today and uh, we're showcasing our new Pampered Chef products. I uh, became a Pampered Chef consultant, like my apron. So we're going to start with this <clears throat> rock crock. It is a Dutch oven and it has many uses. It's about four quarts, comes with a handy dandy cover. And we're going to start by Browning up our sausage in this. Now you want to make sure, fresh from the farm sausage, <laughs> nope, my freezer just came from the butcher. You want to make sure there's something in the bottom before you turn on the flame so you don't crack the pot. So we're going to start this up and brown this up, and we'll be back in a little bit. Got my coffee. Salute. Ciao. Howdy, partners. We're back again. I got my handy dandy. Pampered Chef windmill here. See, you can make energy. No, that's just kidding you. This is a smasher. Great for smashing up all kinds of products that you're cooking with. And look how nice and easy it smashes stuff up. And it's easy to clean, easy to use. We'll be back when this is brown. Ciao. Howdy, partners. We're back again. Our sausage is all nice and brown up. You want to... Use a slotted spoon or a holy spoon and get all the grease back down in your pot because we're going to use that for making the roux. And you want to put this right on a paper towel to soak up some of the grease so your sausage part is not so greasy. We'll be back in a minute. Ciao! Howdy partners, we're back again. We're going to make our roux. So we shut off the flame, let it cool a little bit, and we're going to add some flour right to our grease. And as you add the flour, you're going to start stirring it in. Now, depending on how much grease is in here, it determines how much flour you're going to put in. And if you want more gravy, you could always add some butter to make more gravy. We're making a nice little roux here with our handy dandy Pampered Chef stirrer. And we'll be back in a minute. Ciao! So now, okay, so we have everything mixed together. You can see all of the Grease has been absorbed with the flour, so the flour all depends on how much grease you have. So now we're going to add some chicken broth or turkey broth. We're going to put about two cups. This is turkey broth that we had in our freezer from when we made our last turkey. <clears throat> so we got them in our Pampered Chef batter bowls here. I'm going to start stirring this up and turn our flame back on. So we start cooking this up. So you can see there's two different types here. This is the brand new one that they're having today. And this is the one that we had for about, oh, 15 years or so. Longevity. As long as you keep them clean and, and nice and don't break them, they last forever. So both of these do come with a cover, which is nice, so you can put stuff in the refrigerator covered. And we're going to add about two cups of milk to this. And we'll be back in a minute. Ciao. Okay, we're back here. We have our gravy going. It starts to thicken up a little bit. You have to stir it once in a while while it's cooking. And if you need to, you can always add a little bit more flour to thicken it up. So we're going to start making our biscuits and we're going to make some homemade Bisquick biscuits because if it's good enough for Nanny, it's good enough for you. So you start out measuring. Stuff's right on the box. Tells you what to do. It's basically their stuff and milk. And we're going to mix it up here. Oh, we had our handy dandy Pampered Chef measuring cups. Kind of nice. It's liquid this way. And I'm not going to turn it upside down. Well, yeah, I can turn it upside down. And you can push this down and put in your dry ingredients that way so you can measure. Nice handy dandy item there. And we're going to mix this up. And you don't want to over mix it because you make tough biscuits. While you're doing this, you want to preheat your oven. And we're going to cook today on our Pampered Chef stones. We've got a brand new one here. I uh, put a little bit of oil on there so you can start seasoning it up and the biscuits won't stick. And we can have our old one here that we've had for quite a while. And you can see how it's starting to get seasoned. Once it's seasoned like that, you can put whatever you want on there. It ain't going to stick. And they last a long time, as long as you take care of them. So these biscuits are about ready. And we're just going to take them and plop them on the pan. It should make about five biscuits. And we're preheated our oven to 400 degrees. And it may take, you know, a little bit extra time, first time using it, because the stone is new, to cook it. So we'll be back in a little bit. Ciao. Okay, we're back again. We're, uh, biscuits are almost done with cooking. Our sauce is thickening up nicely, and we're going to add the sausage back in. Plop, just like that. You want to make sure the towel doesn't go in there. That would be nasty. 
and just stir this right up and then check this out nice little neat feature of the pot we're using here by the way you can use this pot in the microwave on the barbecue but don't put the top on the glass top on the barbecue you can pick this up it's warm but it's not hot you don't need pot holders so we're going to put that on the back burner turn some heat on there because some of us like some scrambling eggs with our sausage gravy so we've got to let our cast iron heat up a little bit and then we have our free range chicken eggs that we're going to scramble up and we're going to put that right on top and we got to go get our biscuits out of our oven i get my pan handles here oh look at these biscuits that's about 15 minutes at 400 degrees and check out this handy dandy countertop Bam! Right on top of that nice wooden butcher block. Don't need anything underneath it. And we're going to let this set up and then we're going to use our handy dandy paper strip uh, spatula to scoop them up and put them in our bowl. We'll be back in a little bit. Ciao! Okay, we're back. Our cast iron is nice and hot and we have our eggs cooking in there and we got our fancy dancy paper chef spatula. Put it right in there and stir up your eggs. And when these are ready, we'll be back and serve it up. All right, see you in a minute. Ciao. Howdy, partners. We're back here again for the last segment of this edition of What's Cooking Good Looking? You Are, Western Edition. So we have our biscuits, and check this out. Didn't even stick to the pan. This is unbelievable. By the way, when you're cleaning this, you don't want to use soap on it. So just don't do that because the soap will get inside the pores of the stone. So we're going to take our biscuit, and you can leave it whole, or what I like to do is I like to break it up. Ooh, doggy, those are nice biscuits. And then we're going to put some sausage gravy right on top. And I'm going to taste this one here. You can see it's nice and hot, but you know I always go for this. And then for my partner, I'm going to put the scrambled eggs on top of that. We'll show you that in a minute after I taste this. doggy that's hot awesome flavor biscuits are good and at this point you can take your eggs scoop it with your spatula right on top look at that doesn't that look delicious all right we'll see you next time on what's cooking good looking you are salute ciao